Today I'm doing, um, I'm gonna do blackened uh, salmon. I picked up some wild caught pink salmon. And then this is gonna be like a vegetable pasta stir fry. So let, I've got um, a couple of ginormous uh, zucchinis from the farmer's market. Uh, some green onion, I gotta use this up. Um, carrot, some ginger, mushroom. And I think I'm going to throw this onion in there too. So I'm going to slice all this up, sort of similar. And I'm going to add some seasonings, some oil. And then I'm going to have that all set up to cook for later. scraps that I end up with I'm gonna throw in my compost bucket here bring that What's going on here? This is a lot of, uh, I mean, I enjoy doing this. But with this dish here that I'm making, definitely the prep work is the hard part. Right, rather time consuming more than, more than hard, I guess, but I actually have fun with it. I'm going to kind of cut these into slivers. Garlic here. Put a good amount of that in there. the first zucchini.
These are starting to wilt pretty bad, but they still have a lot of, a lot of good colors, so I'm going to try to salvage these a little bit. All right, here we go with some seasonings. Good amount of sea salt. Peppercorns. Some basil. Drizzle of olive oil. That right there, that is a lot of food right there. And I'm still gonna, what I'm gonna do is slice this up and do like steaks and then, um, and then my blackened uh, salmon. I'm gonna make a sauce for the fish. So I'm gonna start with um, some olive oil mayo. some dill
garlic powder. A little bit of salt. And a good amount of hot sauce. What I'm going to do is put it in this baggie. Stick that in the fridge, and then when I'm ready to plate, I'll use this so that I can kind of drizzle it on there like a glaze. All right, I think what I'm going to do with this is um, because I'm going to have a lot going on on the stove top, so I'm going to do two th really thick cut steaks, and I'm just going to throw them in my air fryer. I've had eggplant one time in my entire life, so I'm going to keep the seasonings kind of simple. I've never, the one time I had it, I, di I didn't prepare it, so this is, this is a first for, for me. I'm just going to do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. That's it. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna. I'll just let these sit until I'm ready to cook, and then I'll throw them in the air fryer while I got everything else going on. I'm gonna prep this fish. So I've got some. Um, I got a stick of uh, melted butter, uh, pasture raised, grass fed. Cajun rub, so salt, garlic, onion, paprika, a couple other spices in there. So I'm just going to give these each a quick dunk in the butter and then coat them with the uh, rub. Probably save this and use that for something later. All 
All right, the wok is just about warmed up. I've got that air fryer turned on warming up. So I'll throw the eggplant in there. That'll probably go like 15 and then a flip and then another 15. This is pretty close to warm up here. fish won't take long at all. I'm going to do about a one minute sear on either side and then I'm going to throw it in the oven under the broiler for maybe a minute and then I'll take those out. So that'll be real fast. All 
right, ready to plate. I haven't had fish in a couple weeks. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna eat way more than what I put on my plate of this stuff, but I don't wanna make a big mess of my plate here, so I'm just gonna put a little on here. Okay, now got this sauce that I made earlier. I'm just going to do like a There we go, blackened salmon and veggie pasta stir fry. So I'm gonna get a picture of this plate, um, but what I wanna do over here is try a bite of the fish. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot and tender and flaky. And it's got a nice crisp, all those seasonings crisp really nice to the edge. Really good. Okay. A little bit of mushroom, a little bit of zucchini, carrot. Alright, real good. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this meal. Everybody have a beautiful Monday. I forgot. Amber just reminded me my uh, eggplant steaks. So let me take one of these out of here. Ooh, it's hot. Cut it in half. I'll just put like half of one on my plate for right now. So let's see if I can kind of shift this stuff over. Ooh, that is hot. There we go. Now I'm finished. I'll let you know how the eggplant was in the comments. It is way too hot to eat right now.